Hello, I'm Jerome and this is Kimmy and we're both certified personal trainers at the Bronco Fitness Center and today we're going to go over exercises you can do in your dorm room or bedroom. And today we're going to go over variations and how-tos of the lunge. The first thing we're going to do is a forward lunge, but we have tape on the floor for demonstrating purposes only. Just to show that um, the feet are in about hip width apart the whole time when you're doing every single motion. Now hand position, you want to keep it about on your side or on your hips or on your head. Whatever you're comfortable with, just pick whatever you feel you can maintain balance the best. So on the forward lunge, you take a step. Like I said earlier, you want to make sure your feet stay about hip width apart. And the knees stay over your feet and don't pass your toes because that causes a lot of strain on your knee. So the way you fix these, is push your hips back. And you want to maintain a straight posture, upright and very nice. And your hips are square with the wall at all times. And you're gazing forward as well. And then with that back leg, um, you want to make sure that this right here stays parallel with the floor. You want to go any lower because if you go too low, it causes strain on the back knee now. All right, so another variation we can do is a reverse lunge. So all you do is take a step backwards instead of forwards. Remember again, feet are about hip width apart the whole time. Hips on it, and hands could be on your hips, side, or your head. Torso upright, and hips are parallel with the wall. Now next is side lunge. This one's different hands, it's gonna be like about chest level or on your heads. You know, the step is to the side and slightly forward, and you wanna make sure when you take that step that the knee is over your feet and that your knees aren't too far forward. Next one is a twisting lunge. This one, your hands are going to be about 90 degrees, and you're going to do a forward lunge and twist towards the forward leg. So if you do it on the left leg, you're going to twist to your left side. Next one is a plyometric type workout, the jumping lunge. And with this, um, you're going to start out in a lunge position, and you're going to jump to the other leg, just like that. Uh, the speed of this is all on your fitness level, you can take your time to as slow as you want, do as fast as you want, as long as you're comfortable, you can take balance and coordinated steps. The last one we're going to do is split lunge. This one we actually need a chair, table, or ottoman, wherever you have it, your, your dorm room. And you have the back leg up on the chair. And your forward leg, um, you want to make it a good distance, like your forward lunge. So when you come down, knees stay over your feet. Because if the chair is too f close to you, like so, knees come way far forward and we don't want that. And if it's too far back, the hips open up and you can't maintain that squared position anymore. One thing to keep in mind that when you're doing every lunge, you want to drive through the heels because that's where all the power comes from. But those are the variations of the lunges.